Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can use vScope Live on an iPhone and connect to it with an Apple Watch or an iPad. And it's very easy. This is a free piece of software that allows you to green screen. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to connect vScope Live with an iPad that's also running a copy of vScope Live. So to do that, let's go over to our iPhone here. And we, as you can see, vScope Live is running here. All we're gonna do is gonna bring up vScope Live like this. And once it's up, as you can see, it also has a green screen. We click on this little remote button. Clicking on the remote button shows me the iPhone that I wanna connect to over here on the connection screen. I go ahead and press the iPhone. And as you can see, the iPhone is now prompting me to ask me if I want to control this iPhone from this iPad. And now the iPad has a remote screen that shows up and it has a recording button, it has a camera button, and it has these two arrows. And these two arrows allow me to switch the background. Uh, I can also start and stop recording. Now what's nice about this, I can start recording here and stop recording there and it also updates over here. But this is not the only way that we can connect with vScope Live. I'm gonna show you how we can use an Apple Watch. Okay, over here I've got an Apple Watch and it's already running the vScope Live. So it's this icon over here and I'm just gonna start it. And as you can see, it brings up the same recording button. Now it does some of the same functions. I can switch backgrounds just by clicking this button here. And I also can start and stop recording by clicking this button right here. And again, I can also start it here and stop it here. The two are always in sync. And that's how you can use your Apple Watch, your iPad, or any iOS device to control vScope Live on your iPhone. You can also use your iPhone to control vScope Live on an iPad as well. To find out more information, go to www.dvdxdv.com.